Hi all, my name is Max Morrison, and I will be presenting on the paper Context-Aware PROSD Correction for Text-Based Speech Editing. This paper is a collaboration between myself, Lucas Ranker from University of Surrey, my Adobe mentors Zeyu Jin, Nicholas J. Bryan, and Juan Pablo Caceres, and my advisor Brian Pardo. Editing speech can be difficult. Small edits like copying and pasting can induce sample level boundary artifacts, like clipping, as well as coarse grain perceptual artifacts, such as a mismatch in the pitch, rhythm, or loudness of speech, also called a mismatch in prosody. In our work, we propose to fix the unnaturalness that results from mismatch in prosody when copying and pasting speech. Given an alignment between speech and text, this allows us to perform text-based copy and paste of speech with a more natural sounding prosody. Let's see an example. First, let's listen to the speech that we are going to edit. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank. Let's say we want to replace the phrase, get very tired of sitting by her sister, highlighted here in blue. First, we find a recording of this speaker saying the phrase we want. Here we'll use the phrase, wonder about that rabbit she saw, from the following speech and highlighted in purple. I wonder about that rabbit she saw. We replace the region in blue with the region in purple, we call this naive copy-paste, as the results often sound unnatural, like so. Alice was beginning to wonder about that rabbit she saw on the bank. Using prosody correction, we can edit the prosody of the naive copy-pasted example to have a more natural-sounding prosody. Ideally, our goal is to end up with a result that sounds like the following speech, which was re-recorded by a human with a more natural prosody. Alice was beginning to wonder about that rabbit she saw on the bank. Let's step through this example again and add a few more details. Here we have a speech waveform and the corresponding pitch and text. Let's listen. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank. We want to change the words, get very tired of sitting by her sister. So first we try to naively copy and paste a phrase from a different sentence. And let's listen to that again. Alice was beginning to wonder about that rabbit she saw on the bank. And we hear this sounds unnatural. This is because the new speech is both much higher in pitch and much faster. In other words, there are discontinuities in the prosody. We call these discontinuities prosody boundary artifacts. Our work proposes to correct this naively copy-pasted example by using a neural network to infer a new prosody from the context speech. And ideally, we get something that sounds like this example that was re-recorded by a human. Alice was beginning to wonder about that rabbit she saw on the bank. The rest of this talk is structured as follows. First, we'll describe our method for context-aware prosody correction. After that, we'll describe our evaluation methods and results, and conclude with a summary of contributions. Now we discuss our proposed method. Given an input speech that has been naively copy-pasted, and a corresponding phoneme sequence, our method produces prosody-corrected speech with four steps. First, we use a small duration generator neural network to produce a duration in seconds for each phoneme. Next, we condition a pitch generator on the phonemes, which are upsampled according to the predicted durations. Given the predicted pitch and phoneme durations, we use the DSP-based TDP solo to perform pitch shifting and time stretching to match the target prosody. Lastly, we use a neural speech enhancement system, HiFi GAN, to remove some artifacts caused by TDP solo. Of these four, only the duration generator is unique to this work. Our contributions are the duration generator and the composition of these components for the task of prosody correction. The closest prior work to our prosody correction system is Fast Speech 2, which is a neural TTS system that explicitly generates pitch and phoneme durations from text. However, Fast Speech 2 lacks context awareness, and generalizing to multiple speakers is more difficult with Fast Speech 2. To generate phoneme durations from text, we use a small neural network consisting of two convolution layers, a bidirectional layer, and a unidirectional layer. We use mass training, where some ground truth durations are provided. This allows us to condition the model on the phoneme durations of the preceding and following speech. We experimented with using autoregression and a categorical loss, but found that the predicted distribution was unimodal for a single speaker with a consistent reading style. Therefore, we use mean squared error loss. Our duration generator is not multi-speaker, but can train within a half hour on a small amount of speech. Let's listen to an example. Here is some naively copy-pasted speech before fixing the durations. Listen for the words, the number of visitors. That it multiplied beyond all reason the number of visitors, many of whom came merely as the purveyors of food to their friends. 
Now here's the same speech, but using phoneme durations generated by our proposed model. That it multiplied beyond all reason the number of visitors, many of whom came merely as the purveyors of food to their friends. While the pitch is unchanged, we can see that the cadence of the words, the number of visitors, matches the contact speech. Our pitch generator, the Controllable Deep Autoregressive, or CDAR model, was proposed in our prior work. CDAR is a slightly deeper variant of our duration generator and also performs masking during training to enable context awareness. We use autoregressive sampling with a categorical loss function to account for the multimodality that occurs because there are multiple ways to say the same sentence. Let's listen to an example. Here is some naively copy and pasted speech before fixing the pitch. Listen for the words on the floor. A small table stood on the floor in front for the clerk. Here is the same speech using generated pitch. A small table stood on the floor in front for the clerk. Prior work in pitch generation includes both autoregressive and VQVAE based approaches. Our CDAR model extends the autoregressive approach. We use time domain pitch synchronous overlap add, or TDP SOLA, to perform pitch shifting and time stretching of speech to obtain the desired prosody. While TDP SOLA is much older than methods such as straight and world, our prior work showed that TDP SOLA performs significantly higher quality pitch shifting than world. As well, no neural system has yet to show time stretching or pitch shifting performance superior to TDP SOLA. For all of these reasons, we use TDP SOLA. We give a brief overview of the behavior of TDP SOLA in voiced regions. Given a speech signal, we identify repetitions in the speech waveform, slicing the waveform into repeated segments. To perform pitch shifting, we use the discrete Poisson formula to decompose speech into one completely periodic deterministic component and another stochastic component. The deterministic component is resynthesized at a new pitch using overlap and add and added back to the stochastic component. To perform time stretching, we repeat these periodic segments and use overlap add to combine segments. TDP SOLA does induce some artifacts into the signal. We use the recent HiFi GAN speech enhancement method to remove some of these artifacts. We hypothesize that this model is particularly suitable for our use case, as the adversarial loss function encourages mode seeking behavior towards high quality speech, permitting some generalization to out of distribution artifacts. Our work tests whether HiFi GAN can improve the quality of speech edited with TDP SOLA. Next, let's discuss how we can evaluate our prosody correction system. To evaluate prosody correction, we propose a speech replacement task. First, we find two sentences containing the same phrase. Listen for the words was about in the following two sentences. Here's the sentence we're going to edit. The phrase was about is highlighted in blue. The steamer was about to put on steam again when I called out to them that they had forgotten to pay me. Now here's another sentence also containing the phrase was about as highlighted here in purple. The family moved to Indiana, he went on when Abe was about nine. Next, we naively copy-paste the phrase was about from the second sentence to the first. Here's what that sounds like. The steamer was about to put on steam again when I called out to them that they had forgotten to pay me. Finally, we correct the prosody using our proposed method or a baseline method. For example, here is the result when using our proposed method. The steamer was about to put on steam again when I called out to them that they had forgotten to pay me. We perform a mean opinion score test, asking participants to rate the naturalness of the speech under various conditions, from one being the worst, to five being the best. We also perform a pairwise test, asking participants to select whether our proposed method sounds more natural than each other method. Pairwise results are given as a percent preference for our proposed method. We compare the original speech, the naively copy-pasted speech, speech that has been modified with TDP SOLA to have monotone pitch and average phoneme durations, our proposed method, four ablations, and speech modified to have the same prosody as the output of a multi-speaker TTS system based on Takmatron 2. We ablate the duration generator by using the same phoneme durations as the naive case. We ablate the pitch generator by using the same pitch as the naive case. We ablate HiFi GAN by removing that denoising step from post-processing. And we ablate context awareness by performing prosody generation without context conditioning. We see that the components that contribute most to naturalness are context awareness, pitch correction, and using HiFi GAN to remove artifacts. In future work, we aim to improve the quality of the variable ratio pitch shifting and time stretching of speech to close the MOS gap with original speech, 
as well as to investigate duration modeling for a larger data distribution than single speakers with a consistent reading style. In this paper, we demonstrate the importance of context awareness for prosd generation. We contribute a method for context aware prosd generation. We show that our method performs more natural copy and paste of speech. And we demonstrate that neural speech enhancement can improve the quality of DSP based speech manipulation. For more audio examples, see our project website at maxrmorson.com slash sites slash context aware. Thanks for listening.